Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery. It is a beautiful Friday morning, May 27th, 2022. We get together most weekday mornings with our distribution partners to talk strategies, tips, success stories, techniques, but primarily we're here to support you. Next week notice, Monday is Memorial Day, so we will not have a training on Memorial Day. And then as we talked about on training yesterday, we're setting up quite a few in-person workshops and you can refer back to yesterday's training if you missed it. But the concept that we covered was that we can do an in-person class together. You facilitate it. You make on average around $2,500 for that day for facilitating it. Plus you have a whole group of people that you could uh, make the back end income off of afterwards. I only bring that up again, not, not to be redundant, but we have a number of workshops coming up. So I'll be traveling next Friday on June 3rd and be doing a workshop in Florida. And then another one on Monday, the 6th of June, coming back on the 7th. So the point is next week, we won't have a Zoom training on Monday or Friday. Monday because of Memorial Day, Friday because of a workshop in Florida, nor the following Monday, but we'll worry about that later. Today's training is specifically regarding uh, the white label program. So this is not a recruitment effort, but a number of you are white label partners. We're adding not quite, but almost a hundred new white label partners a month, which is outstanding. I want to make sure that, that our white label partners understand how to get set up properly. So when a new white label partner comes in and, and they can fill out the form here, or there's a couple other entry points, but regardless, once someone has signed up as a white label partner, then they're going to receive the onboarding email. And that's going to instruct them to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me, a one-on-one -on -one with Scott Stroud, our chief marketing officer. And it's going to frankly refer them back to this page, the white label page, and, and covering some of the topics that I'll be reviewing briefly this morning. White label partners are different than referral partners. Now, it does not cost anything to become a referral partner. It doesn't cost anything up front to enroll as a white label partner. But white label partners do more and they get paid more. And, and I would say that they're, they're a more committed group. So think of it as, as college professors. And I used to be a, a professor full-time at a college. You have non-tenured and tenured. And so our referral partners are important, valuable. We're always looking for more referral partners, but they're kind of like the adjunct faculty. You know, they might teach a, class, a college class here or there. They come and go. They're, they're valuable, of course, but what's most important, frankly, are our white label partners. That's the, the equivalent to the tenured full-time professors, like I was. These are the folks that, that you can count on. They're engaged because... What you and I know is no matter whatever it is, playing basketball or, or helping small businesses with accessing capital and financial literacy, the more active you, actively engaged you are, the better you'll become at it. So our white label partners, it may not be a full-time endeavor for them, but, but they're actively engaged. And what that means is they're going to be helping at least eight clients a month. That, that's the goal, the threshold that we and our white label partners have agreed to. Why is that important? Well, frankly, for a couple of reasons, that, that two a week, eight a month is, is a threshold that, that's easily met, but also it's enough that it keeps them active and vibrant. Because as I mentioned a moment ago, anything that you just dabble in, it's very difficult. And, and a lot of you are very, very talented. So take no offense to it. But it's, in general, it's difficult to dabble in something and become proficient. Now, as a referral partner, you can dabble all you want. You can refer a person once a year, once a month, once a week, once a day, once an hour, doesn't matter. But white label partners are more actively engaged. And by having at least eight new client enrollments a month, they're right at that $100,000 a month level of gross income. 
And so we've talked about, you know, every time that you have a client that signs up when you're a white label partner, and I'll cover some of the highlights here this morning, but you know, they sign an agreement with you. You can put that into your QuickBooks as an accounts receivable, depending upon what you're charging the client for the performance fee, which is up to you as a white label partner. Eight clients a month should put you right at $100,000 a month of gross income. And some people that have not earned much income say, well, that seems outlandish. There's a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of successful people make six figures a month, but there's also a whole lot of people that, that don't. And so you have to have the right vehicle, the right method of, of generating income to generate that type of what should be seven figure a year income. So in summary, if you are a white label partner, it's important that you know a few of these things that we're going to go through. And uh, if you'd like to be a white label partner, you can come here and do so. If you are a white label partner and realize, uh-oh, I'm not in the right seat on the bus. This is not what I want. I just need to be a referral partner. We can get you with our compliance department and they can do the paperwork to switch you out of the white label partnership role if, if that's the case. But for those of you that are white label partners, this page here, iimfl.org forward slash white label is very important. There's a number of training videos here, quite a few training videos. And so at first it can seem a bit intimidating, but, but I would ask you to pause and consider, I'll, I'll give an example. When I worked full time for the, before I was a college professor, I worked for the SBA. And so we did a lot with, we helped often entrepreneurs that were looking to get financing to start a franchise. Getting franchises funded, I don't want to say it's automatic, but it's quite simple, especially if the franchise type is on the SBA approved list, which is obviously primarily what we worked with. But the point is, if you wanted to go start a, a Domino's pizza franchise, do, do you think you could dabble in it? No, no. You, you would have to, to sign the, the franchise paperwork and you'd have to go to their training, which is typically a full week that you've got to take away from home, take away from work. You, you've got to go really learn all that there is about running a Domino's pizza franchise. Well, we're not offering Domino's franchises or franchises in general. But so are there quite a few training videos that you would need to go through if you want to be positioned to earn $100,000 a month on average as a white label partner? Well, sure. But, but if, if that's not the level of commitment that you bring, that's okay. It, 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 we have to determine, are you better as a referral partner where you can dabble or do you want to be more actively engaged as a white label partner. If it's as a white label partner, then this training is important. Now, these are past live training videos that we've had on, on Zoom calls, and these are the most important ones for our white label partners to be familiar with. So I, I don't give in to the instinct of, or, or the, the inclination of, well, you know, this is quite a bit. This, this is gonna take me a full day to go through all of this. Well, yeah, it costs nothing to sign up as a white label partner. If you follow the plan you're making right at $100,000 a month in gross income, where else are you going to do that legally and ethically and, and reasonably without some sort of, of time commitment of learning a new trade, a new craft? I think that's too good to be true. So you've got the training videos here. Now, I, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I guess I will for a moment. There's two ways to go through these training videos, right? One is just to let it play in the background while you're doing whatever you're doing in life. In other words, multitasking. But, but that, that's not immersion. That, that's not concentrating on developing your knowledge. That's just checking the box. You have a number of you that are just you know, super diligent professionals. You, you take Jeremy, you take Joseph, for example, both very successful white label partners, one in Texas, one in Arkansas. I can just imagine Jeremy and Joseph as they went through this, you know, they were in a, a quiet room, they had their notepad, they're taking notes, they're immersed in it. And so again, you can be as diligent as you want, but we just have to be realistic. White label partners are actively involved in this, this process. And in contrast, referral partners don't need to be. But as a white label partner, 
you, you should be making, and I'll again describe the math, you should be generating $100,000 a month. The math is if we're helping eight clients a month, and you, right here is where the client agreement template is. So if you're a new white label partner and you've not yet created your client agreement, this is where you go. You go here and you click on the access to capital. It brings up an editable Word document. Frankly, it's good to go with just plugging in your contact information, but you can change any of the terms and conditions you want. But you can also change the client pricing. It's up to you. Once you have that completed, now you're ready to start bringing on clients. T to know what to do, of course, is subject to these training videos, but we'll, we'll leave that aside. So most of you will leave the deposit that the client pays you as a white label partner as $2,500. Now that's collected from the client after their first round of capital. They're not paying anything up front. I'll tell you right now, the FTC and regulators hate, hate, hate with all capitals and bold and exclamation points, advanced fee loan programs. Well, this isn't an advanced fee loan program. The client pays nothing when they enroll into the access to capital program. You and I work with them to go get them their first round of funding. And then out of that, they pay you a $2,500 deposit. So that's your first money that should be coming to you typically in the first week or so of each client enroll. Plus you get the performance fee. How much is the performance fee? It's up to you because you set it and you'll see that it's editable here. But assuming that you do just 10% performance fee, you know the client's going to raise at least 100000 over time. So that 10% of 100000 is 10000 plus the $2,500 deposit. So you can be putting into your QuickBooks. Each time a client enrolls, you can go to your accounts receivable and put in $12,500 receivable. Those receivables can then be factored and used for financing. But that's, that's a slight digression. So if you do that eight times a month, that's where that math comes from. So as a white label partner, you don't pay anything to get plugged in and you control how much you earn based upon two variables. What, what are you going to charge the client and how many clients are you going to enroll? So once you have your client agreement set up, now you're ready to start enrolling clients. You're open for business. And again, hopefully you've done this training, but frankly, you could do none of this training get your contract and start signing up clients. Not recommending that, not advocating for that, not condoning that, but frankly, it's possible. Now, with that, you, you need to decide how you're gonna get the agreement to the client. Just sending them a PDF is probably not a good idea because it's cumbersome for them to fill out. Some of you use DocuSign, some of you use Adobe. What I think is, is best, but you do what you want, is to work with Scott, Scott Stroud, our chief marketing officer, he'll set up where these are terms and conditions online. Now, let's, let's be honest with each other. You and I know that our world is full of click here, I accept terms and conditions. So almost no matter what you do in terms of getting an Apple iPhone, getting business loans, et cetera, et cetera, getting cable for your house, it's almost always go to the website, click terms and conditions. Well, people do that with less hesitancy. I would recommend, but we don't require that if you're a white label partner, get your terms and conditions online to make it simple for people. The simpler it is for your clients, more people that will enroll. Once you have them under contracts, in other words, they're committed to you, then you submit them on the white label client submission form. And so you're not directing them here and you wouldn't want to put them here until you have them under agreement, but then you'd submit them here. And then what happens is we send you an email and the email will acknowledge that the client's been received and is now being processed. And then we're going to immediately take that client to funding. We're going to send them via Adobe, a funding proposal app in a white label format. So it doesn't have our contact information on it. Goes to the client. You're copied on it. So you know that they've received it because you were copied on the outbound. And then you want to prompt them to complete it. And then when they complete it, it comes back to us so we can process, which I'll talk in a moment. And of course, you're notified because you're copied on it, right? You're, you're in the flow. So until they've completed it, uh, it's a problem, right? Because th they're not getting funding. They're not being implemented. And you're not getting paid. 
Once that's filled out, that comes back to us. And then normally within 24 hours, we can get them funding offers. And those funding offers will be communicated to you. Our funding coordinator here in our office, Madison, will interface with you. And then you'll be helping the client accept one or more of those offers. Some of you are really good. Take Samuel. Samuel, when his client gets four to seven cash funding offers, Samuel's working with them to accept all four to seven funding offers, right? So Samuel's clients, frankly, get more in first tranche financing than some of the others of you that are only helping the client accept one offer. But that's between you and them. But once they've received their first round of funding, then you're able to invoice them for the deposit and then, of course, the performance fee. There's additional information at the bottom of this page that talks about the four modules, we're covering business planning in module one. Again, this is a concise version of what our semester long college class was. This is curriculum developed by the FDIC. It's promoted by the SBA. It's unquestionably good. It's unquestionably strong. It includes participant guides and instructor guides and training videos in white label format. I mean, it, it's the real deal. But module one, business planning, module two, credit, module three, financial management, module four, banking and money. So in 28 days, what should have happened is they've completed the, the four week curriculum. They already have their first tranche of capital and then we can have the loan package ready for the larger capital rates. It's a sweet deal. So the point today, and we try to keep Friday trainings a bit more concise, is that if you are a white label partner, hey, welcome aboard. Uh, thanks for recently or, or in the past uh, signing up. Please recognize that there are responsibilities with being a white label partner and knowing the information on this page is helpful. And also, as we started with, as a white label partner, you've promised to not dabble. You've promised to help at least eight clients per month. So you're at that $100,000 projected gross earnings per month. And so if you are a white label partner, let's make sure that, that we're complying, remaining in good standing and, and, and helping people. And you, you earning seven figures a year. If you're not a white label partner, but you want to be, you can do so here. If you are a white label partner and you decided, uh oh, it's not the right seat on the bus for me. I, I don't want to have to be proficient. I don't want to have to be knowledgeable. I don't, I don't want to need to know how to help small businesses access capital. I just want to refer people, then contact us and we can do the paperwork to switch you over to be just simply a referral partner, which is fine. Referral partners make on average 5,000 per client referred. White label partners make two to three times that. All right, so again, we're gonna keep it short and sweet on Fridays as usual. Are there any questions or concerns that anyone has regarding what we've covered today? You'll just uh, type that into the question and answer. It's like a chat function of Zoom. We won't gather on Monday because it's Memorial Day. We will have Zooms on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But the following Friday, one week from today, June 3rd and June 6th, we won't have Zooms because we're doing more in-person workshops. If you would like to facilitate an in-person workshop, let us know and we can uh, assist you in getting that set up. All right, so Jimmy asked, what's the email for setting up the online application? So uh, Scott's email is Scott, spelled traditionally, S-C-O-T-T, at smartmoneyalliance.org. So Scott at smartmoneyalliance.org. But you'll see Scott's information on your white label onboarding email. And you can contact us if you need information and, and request that. But it's, it's real simple. It's scott at smartmoneyalliance.org. And he can help you set up your agreement or terms and conditions. Screen went blank on us. Uh, terms and conditions online. You don't have to do it that way, but it's it's the way that industry has moved. It's still legally and binding. So if they sign up with you, they're making promises to you to go through the process, and then of course we're going to work together to to deliver what we've promised to do. So. What, what Jimmy's asking about is this. But if you don't want to do that, you can certainly uh, use this Word document, 
save it as a PDF and then use DocuSign or Adobe if you want. But you need some way to get a client under contract. Having written contracts with clients are important because it clarifies what both parties have promised to do. Then let's say the client gets $100,000 and they don't pay you, which doesn't happen often, but, but maybe they're pushing back. They're, they're not being honorable to do what they said they would do. You have a legally enforceable contract to collect from. And so sometimes people won't do what they promise to do. That's why it's so important to have it in writing to clarify. So there's no confusion of, of what promises were made and what obligations exist. Thank you, Jimmy, for that question. So scott at smartmoneyalliance.org. But you'll see that on your white label partner onboarding email. Anyone else have any questions that I can help with regarding the white label partner? If nothing else, here are the, the top three takeaways. Da David Letterman style, right? Takeaway number three. If you're not a white label partner, but you want to be, here's where you can sign up. Number two, if you are a white label partner, you need to be familiar with this information and you need to remain compliant. You, you need to do what you said that you would do. And we're here to help you, of course. And we should be helping at least eight clients a month. It's not difficult to do that. And that puts you right on track for $100,000 a month in gross income. That's, that's the type of income that white label partners should be receiving. And then I guess the number one takeaway is if you are a white label partner now and you realize, hey, that, that's not the right fit, then contact us and we can switch you out. Because what we don't want is for you to sign up as a white label partner and then default and not do what you promised to do because uh, that, that's not good for either party. All right, so we will not see you Monday. Well, we won't see you Saturday or Sunday because it's the weekend. We won't see you Monday because it's Memorial Day. Now I will note, we're open Monday, and I have probably 30 client mentoring calls on Monday. So we're open for business on Monday, but we're just not going to do the Zoom because we know a lot of you won't be working on Monday, but we'll be back Tuesday morning as normal. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.